Ever wonder why Edson was called Pele? And the reason behind that? Today we are going to be talking about the incredible story of how Edsao Arachis do Nasa Mehto, better known as Pele, got his nickname. Pele was born in 1940 in Brazil, and from a young age, it was clear that he had a natural talent for football. At just 15 years old, he made his professional debut for Santos Football Club, and it wasn't long before he was making a name for himself as one of the best players in the world. He played for Santos for almost his entire professional career, from 1956 to 1974. During this time, he won numerous titles with the club, including six Campeonato Paulista titles, the top-level football league in the Brazilian state of São Paulo, and two Copa Libertadores titles, the most prestigious club competition in South America. But it was Pelé's performance at the 1958 World Cup that really put him on the map. At just 17 years old, he helped lead Brazil to victory scoring a hat-trick in the semi-final against France and two goals in the final against Sweden. This impressive feat made him the youngest player to score in a World Cup final, and solidified his place as a global football star. Pelé was successful with both the Santos Football Club and the New York Cosmos teams, in the North American Soccer League NASL. He joined the Cosmos in 1975 and helped popularize the sport in the United States during his three seasons with the club. Over the course of his career, Pelé won three World Cups with Brazil and scored an incredible 1,281 goals in 1,363 games. He won a lot of club titles with Santos Football Club and is thought to be one of the best goal scorers ever. Pelé's success on the pitch earned him numerous accolades and honors. In addition to his three World Cup titles, he was named South American Footballer of the Year three times and European Footballer of the Year once. He was also inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame in the United States and the Brazilian Football Museum Hall of Fame. But Pelé wasn't just known for his success on the pitch. He was also known for giving back to the community and working hard to use his position for good. He was named as a United Nations Ambassador for Ecology and the Environment in 1992 and has worked to raise awareness about a variety of causes, including poverty, AIDS, and discrimination. He disputes rumors that Pele is the Gaelic term for football or that it stems from a Turkish immigrant, yelling in broken Portuguese, the foot, stupid, after a handball. Pele was given the moniker because it refers to a goalkeeper named Bile, who was a part of the team with his father when he used to play for Vasco de São Lorenzo. At the age of three or four his dad Dondinho would bring him to Vasco's practice sessions, where Pele would play around in the goal whenever he could, and shout, good one Bile or great save Bile, whenever he succeeded in stopping a shot. He pronounced it somewhat incorrectly, sounding more like, Pile, because he was a young child. On the other hand, he was not fond of the moniker at first. He even fought against being called Pele. However, as he grew angrier, more children began to call him Pele, and eventually, he accepted the nickname. Who could have predicted the legend he would grow into? Today, Pele's legacy lives on as one of the greatest footballers of all time, and his impact on the sport continues to be felt around the world. Do you also have a nickname you are not fond of? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.